know, so two straight matches, you come out and get the win, you get the tech in the first one. What was kind of the, the key to, to everything in that first match, and where'd you feel him really open up? Uh, just wanted to get on top. I told myself I'm gonna push the pace on my feet, and uh, I just need one opportunity on top. If I get on top one time, I'm gonna win the match. Got on top one time, and finished the match. You scored a total of 12 points uh, on top from those two matches. Where does that uh, top parterre game come from, and where have you developed that? Uh, back in uh, my youth days when I was wrestling at Fargo on a cadet and junior level, Coach Brian Medlin, uh, the regional coach at uh, U of I, he's uh, my first coach, my first Greco coach, and he taught me underhooks and uh, my gut wrench. And uh, I used to tech everybody at Fargo days with the gut wrench, and I mean, that was my best move, so I wasn't going to just get it out of my repertoire, you know, and lose it in my arsenal. So I've been consistent with the gut wrench, so that I know I took that into the senior level. That was going to be my best move, and I still utilize it now, so. What do you have to do to finally medal up the Worlds now? Parterre, biggest thing. Um, that's what I've been working on. That's what Coach Long has been pushing me for. Uh, I just had Pan American Championships. I took second. I lost to Barrera there. But every single person that I got on top, I turned with my gut wrench. For some reason, I didn't try to hit the gut wrench on him. I tried to do a different move. I don't know why. Uh, just a dumb mental mistake. But I got to get these turns. Last year, I lost to the Russian who won it 2-1 uh, to one, um, in the quarterfinals. And, uh, I got a chance on top and I didn't turn him. He got on top, he turned me, so he won 2 1. So everything is going to come down to parterre for uh, all our guys. Um, the senior level, uh, international level, all those guys are really good at parterre. You know, they're good on top and they know how to defend. So me just getting better at my gut wrench, even uh, better than I am now, and get, find a way to get to it on everybody and defend them when they get on top of me. So you talked about your, your Fargo days and Brian Medlin. And Going back even further, you know, you and Kamal are both from OPRF High School. What's that mean for you, as well as him be wrestling tonight? You know, two guys on the same card wrestling for World Team Spots. It's huge, man. Uh, that's my little brother. So, like, every time we get to travel with each other, go on trips together, you know, it's always a blessing, considering that we both went to Oak Park. And uh, I try to take him under my wing and help him out as much as I can. And when I first arrived here, before we had media, I walked up to him and he walked up to me, he came to me and he was like, all I need is four throws and I'm on a world team. And I was like, all I need is eight gut wrenches and I'm on a world team. <laughs> and so uh, I think I got six gut wrenches and, uh, or five in a, in a throw. So I'm just going to wait and see if he gets his four throws and then we'll see each other on a world team. How do you feel about uh, the Greco team getting the exposure on Final X uh, this year? It's awesome. Um, this is nothing better than, you know, us being at, at the same level, you know, keeping USA wrestling as a whole instead of uh, isolating certain styles, you know. Um, I think it's big, you know. Uh, we're not, a Greco team's not as popular as a freestyle team, and we don't, um, you know, we, we're trying to get our, make our way up there, you know, on the international scene and uh, doing everything we can to bring medals back. But it's good. I think it's a blessing, and I, I just want to thank uh, Flow Wrestling and USA Wrestling Media for, you know, getting us all together and uh, help push Greco a little bit more. Tell us what kind of evaluation goes into where you are and where you need to be when you come out of the World Championships last year, you're right there with a the guy that wins it. Um, uh, you know, every single time you lose, you know, you feel like you have to reset and you have to rethink what you did wrong or what you're doing wrong, you know. And I've been in that position a lot, but it's not what I did wrong or what, or what am I what am I doing wrong, it's what can I get better at that I'm already good at, you know. And so, like I said, I'm good at the gut wrench, you know. Burroughs is good at a double leg, you know. Kamal's good at throwing. Everybody has something that they're really good at. And, uh, the fact of the matter is getting those those your best moves, that good move that you're good at on all those guys, you know. And um, everybody knows I have a gut wrench, but I'm not going to change to something else, you know. I, I need to learn how to be able to set it up better to get it on those guys too because that's my best move. So I'm not going to wind away from what I'm actually good at. I'm just going to get better at it. Uh, Jamel made adjustments for Tuma in Raleigh. He wanted to be more of a or inside plumber instead of like hanging out in a tie-up and looking for something big. Did you notice a difference in him, especially in match one, with the way that he was trying to attack his tie-ups? Yeah, uh, he felt uh, much stronger this time, and uh, he stayed in good position. It was difficult, like, trying to get inside on him because he uh, he kept his elbows in and he pushed in good position. But, I mean, Tuma's was my teammate, you know, so I was pretty prepared for what he did already, uh, what he was going to do. And at the same time, like, I, I watched... I watch his interviews, you know, I watch all that stuff. I like to eat up as much as I can. And I heard him saying that he's taking guys to deep water, so I don't even swim. So, I mean, I'm on a boat still. So.